behalf of the agencies represented in, in the document that we're going to speak to today, I welcome you to the launch of our threat assessment protocol. We have uh, just completed uh, crafting a threat assessment protocol in partnership with um, the other local school board, the Huron Perth Catholic District School Board and the Evan Maitland District School Board, in partnership with all of the local police services, CAS, Perth District Health Unit, Choices for Change, which is uh, addictions counseling, and the um, Family and Children's Services uh, Ministry uh, dealing with youth justice. Uh, each of those agencies has come together to, uh, un under the um, belief that we can make schools safe uh, if we work together. We fully support the program and uh, it's designed to uh, make the schools safe, but not only make the schools safe, but help those that are having problems. And uh, th that's the idea is to, if we help the kids that are having problems and are the threats, then we won't have any threats in our schools. A number of years ago, it was identified that that schools needed to have some sort of mechanism in place to assess the risk for violence and, and violent acts within our schools. And in the province of Ontario, a, a number of school boards have, have taken the lead in terms of creating a community-based approach. The philosophy is that we want to have many disciplines around the table as we assess the potential risk for violence in our schools so that we can better prevent the violence from actually taking place. This protocol looked behind the scenes, took an opportunity to look at what were the contributing factors that were leading to this and bringing us together to work on that as uh, community partners and so I think that will put us in good stead as we move forward to, to put us in a position where maybe we never actually have to do the, the part of the protocol where there's a violent incident. So on behalf of the Children's Aid Society we want to thank Mike and the committee for all your hard work. The purpose behind the release is to do two things. One is to make the, the public aware that we've been working on this to try to ensure the safety of students. But the other one is to demonstrate to the public that we are working in partnership as a community to ensure safety and well-being of our students and staff. In our school communities, we want to ensure all of our students and staff are safe. So we monitor um, behaviors, changes in behaviors, um, comments made by students um, and, and it's through those mechanisms that we will uh, hopefully highlight uh, incidents where a student's in need of support and that's really where what a lot of this is about is ensuring that the right supports are in place for a student. I want to thank each of you for coming today uh, to make this uh, this protocol that much more special by your presence so thank you. Always love.